Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. The DM Zone recently went on the road to the Sedona International Film Festival in Sedona, Arizona. We visited with Ed Asner, he was live on stage in Oxymoron, and Richard Dreyfuss in a movie called The Light Keepers, a wonderful romance set in 1912. We then visited with Ashley Wren Collins and her partner Sean Bennett in a fun movie called Chasing Taste about a film critic who loses his sense of taste and smell. Then Sean Lackey and Kevin Farley were in a fun movie called The Yank about an Irish American who finds out he may not be as Irish as he thinks. Lots of fun, great humor, you really need to see that movie. Also, serious topics were covered at the festival. Alzheimer's, water shortage, peace, and immigration reform. These movies, documentaries, and shorts were rooted in peace, lost music, the immigration paradox, and slingshot. It was a wonderful time being able to visit with these creators, young, old, it didn't matter. The thing that was similar about all of them, the passion that they felt for their craft. If you've never attended the Sedona Film Festival, the Sedona International Film Festival, you really need to. It is a, a must-see. It's exciting and fun, parties, movies, live theater, everything combined. I hope you find the time to put it on your list soon. Let's watch these interviews now, okay? Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. I am thrilled to be visiting with Beatrice Wells. Yes, that's Orson Welles' daughter. We are here at the Sedona International Film Festival and we just finished a wonderful, wonderful panel talking about the other side of the wind. Welcome, Beatrice. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I am so pleased. A couple of quick questions for you. What was it like when you knew that this film festival was going to have this wonderful tribute to your dad? Well, I organized it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but didn't you have to convince some folks? No, it didn't take much convincing. No, I, you know, I tell you what happened. When they said, you know, we're thinking about doing something for your father, I said, I tell you what, either you dedicate the whole festival to him, or if not, I'm not in it getting involved. And I thought they were going to say no, and they said yes. And I, I love said, it. I have, to, I have to come out of recluse nest. So, because uh, I am a recluse. I you really mentioned am. that. Yes. I really am. Well, and yet from your upbringing, listening to your story, the, I love the one about you said, I thought everyone stared at everyone because that's how it was like. I understand where that comes from a private, from being private and needing that privacy. So thank you for coming out. <laughs> I've come out. <laughs> now the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I know that you were very involved in helping to get the book together. Why did you decide to help with the making of the, because that's what we're talking about, it's the other side of the wind, but this is the making of the other side of the wind. It is, because it, it you know, it was a movie, this movie has, so many people have wanted to get their hands on it, you know, I mean, you can, anything to do with Orson Welles is amazing, everybody wants, you know, to put their hands on it, and I just, even though I didn't own it, I did everything in my power to try and protect it until I thought or believed that the right person would come along. I always thought one day the right person will come along and the right people did and they're making it the way it should be done which is almost like a documentary. It you know, could not pretend to be Orson Welles because we talked about editing, we talked about how of course he was the only one to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. My dream for this movie, and I would like to say this because I always said if that the right people don't come, then what I would like to do with this movie is make it into a teaching tool for school a uh, movie school yeah. students. Well, I will tell and you. So they could have, they would have a whole movie that is an unfinished movie, and we would see their version of what they thought the other side of the wind would be, and that would be giving back to what my father loved most: movies. 
and I can believe that from your to tales and the other stories here that he loved making movies more than anything, anything else. Oh no, we were we were like way second. Gypsies, <laughs> gypsies, Gypsy, <laughs> gypsies, and movies. He said he fell in love with movies, and he really did. I mean, well, how fun. wonderful for you to share your time with us, and thank you again for. You said no, you didn't need to convince them, but yes, you did. You did a great job, and thank you so they, much. They were wonderful. They were wonderful, and, and so are you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you right so much. Here. I told you you would enjoy those interviews. I had so much fun at the Sedona International Film Festival. And remember, you have been in the DM Zone. Come back soon.